if I told you that there was an incredibly powerful, versatile, free to use and reputable AI software that we can leverage as project managers, would you be interested? I know I would. So that's why I am recording this video here. I would like to introduce you to this tool, how I'm using it in my day-to-day -day role as a project manager, and also I'm gonna be showing you it in action and how you can use this for yourself. Now I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I'm gonna introduce this tool for you and I'm gonna do that right now. And the tool is Perplexity. So if we just head into its respective Wikipedia page, I just wanna give you a little bit of an insight about what it is and who's kind of behind it. I want you to know that this is a tool that we can trust and depend in. So essentially, it works in many, many ways like ChatGPT, and it can serve as a very good alternative. So it actually is built based on the model used for OpenAI's GPT 3.5, but it also has its own standalone large language model, um, and it has its own NLP capabilities. So essentially, it's based on, on a similar basis, but it's got, as it says here, a little bit extra it can offer us. And what I like about it, and we're gonna see this in the tool shortly, but it generates answers using sources from the web and it cites links within the text response. So we know exactly where the information is coming from and we can continue our research further if we wanted to. So the founder essentially worked at OpenAI. So it's, yeah, there, there's a lot of kind of basis in ChatGPT here, and that's kind of what's happened. They've gone kind of gone away uh, and created this standalone tool. So to get to it, you can go to perplexity.ai, or you could just simply Google perplexity. And this is the homepage. There's no account sign up at this particular moment. I do believe they have a pro plan. I'm not using that at the moment. I'm using their entirely free model. Um, so yeah, all you need to do is go to this, this uh, URL and then you're greeted with this particular interface. Very, very simple. They've got a kind of discover uh, ribbon over here. If I just quickly show you that, there's just loads of different interesting things that are going on. Um, you, can, you can sign up for account and sign in if you wanted to, and that's obviously gonna keep a record of everything you've searched. But what I'm gonna now show you is three different use cases and why I like this so much, this tool. So here is an example prompt that I've plugged in. It could be far more expansive than this. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. But what I've gone for here is create a project plan for a software project which aims to deploy a new product to a range of clients. Include major milestones, key deliverables, and tasks. Now we're gonna hit this uh, go button and just Take note of how quick this is. So here we go. The following outline can be used. So it's given us an overview. So it's taken into account our prompt with its the, with the objective. And it's given us an error to put in the timeline. But here we go, major milestones. We've got the initiation phase and it's give us, given us three separate uh, tasks. A product development phase or milestone and three, it's given us basically three subtasks for each different major milestone and phase. We've got deployment preparation, deployment phase, client rollout. It's broken down all of the key deliverables for us and it's broken down all of the tasks for us again. Now, here is where it gets really, really interesting. Of course, we can share it. Of course, we can rewrite it. But what I really, really like is the bottom bit here. We have this related areas and it can just really give us ideas of where to take this initial prompt. So what are the key stages of a software development project? How to create a project plan for a software development project? And what are the best practices? So if I just clicked on this as an example, it's going to just it's just going to go off to, off to the next thing. And it's just really, really useful for just basically consolidating your knowledge and ensuring that you have the output that you are seeking and just understand everything that is coming back at us. I don't know if you saw as well, if I just, um, here we go. It shows you the sources that it has pulled from. So we know exactly where it's put, been pulling in from. So we can check these out uh, in real time. I could right click and click on op open link and new tab. And we can just make basically double check and make sure that the information provided is legitimate and is something that we should trust and depend in. The way I understand that this works is this is all taken from the kind of highest ranking um, uh, web results for this particular search. So it's it's you know it's not taking anything from the internet. It's taking from a a, a particular source. One other thing that we can do if I go back here. So um, I want to rewrite this. Um, no, actually, sorry, I don't. I want to create a second prompt off the back of this. Uh, what I should, I need to rewrite this one. That's essentially what I need to do, sorry. If I rewrite this, what I'm gonna say now is, um, please 
recreate the above as a table. And as you will see here, it can do that and it can do it really, really quickly. We could be a lot more specific in our prompt. I could have said, please create this as a, a table that I can use to track the project in Microsoft Excel or another application, if you like. So it could have, you know, uh, planned start date, planned end date, etc., etc. So that's the first prompt uh, that I like to use. The second one is just expanding our knowledge as a as a project manager. So I've just plugged this in as an example. It's, it's something that, as a new project manager, you may have questions around. But of course, any element of project management you're not quite sure of, terms, etc., you can use to get quick responses. So if I just plug this in. So here we go. This is uh, the example given. This is the answer. And then we've got all of the different sources. So what I like about this as well, and this is where it's really, really beneficial. Of course, we could have just plugged this into Google. But what, what it's doing is it's amalgamating all of these different results. So it's basically giving us the best of it all. So it, it, we could, it, it saves us from having to go into each individual uh, resource and just do that uh, separately and combine it together in our own heads. It just has it all in one place. It combines it all together. So essentially what it said here, is it's an approach that focuses on delivering project requirements iteratively and incrementally. It emphasizes cross-functional collaboration, continuous improvement, and breaking down projects into smaller manageable cycles known as sprints. So that is such a good answer. It really, really is. It's really easy, easy to understand, and it really does summarize a lot of it, a lot of the Agile methodology in just a couple of sentences. This methodology is character, characterized by its adaptability, non-linear nature, and iterative development processes enhance flexibility efficiency so i really this is a fantastic answer and then if i click on these different buttons it's literally going to take us to the sources and then we've got the related field again so that's another really really good use case now the final use case that i just want to show you is um, the ability to essentially um, summarize meeting minutes really really quickly so i'm not sure if i actually um let me just pull this in from ChatGPT because I actually created them in ChatGPT. That's maybe a little bit cheeky here, but I just want to show you how this kind of tool works. I'm assuming that um, you've got meeting minutes to hand. I just created some example ones. Uh, I didn't want to use my company's ones for data privacy reasons. But if I just plug this in, so here we go. This is the prompt. Summarize these meeting minutes into five short, concise bullet points. You might have just seen, I've just gone over to ChatGPT. I've copied them and I've pasted them here. As I say, I just wanted to create them very, very quickly. I'm going to hit this button here, and here we go. It's done that. It's, it's summarized all that information really, really concisely, and it's done so really, really quickly. So that's another really useful use case for it. But this video really, to be honest, was more about an introduction. If you haven't heard of Perplexity, it could be a fantastic solution for you as a project manager. If you're using the, the paid plan of ChatGPT as an example, it could be a, a, a more cost-effective means of, of getting the responses you were looking for. And it's just a tool that I would absolutely play around and explore. So with all that said, I hope this video was useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.